Okay, here we are at Hogwarts yet again, and I'm trying to fix my audio mixer if the thing would come over here. All right, there we go. Hopefully I'm not having garbled audio problems. <clears throat> Anyway, we're back with Hogwarts. We're helping Poppy out today with the centaur stone. And since I've never done this before, I really don't know what to expect other than probably having to kill bunches of people. Or do some... Tr uh, try not to get stuck in the stones and do some uh, puzzles or something. Okay, this could take a little while because, of course, you know how the... Cut scenes work in this game. And we're still here at the cutscenes, but apparently we need to find this moonstone uh, that the center helped us with. And in some way, all of the companions' quests, it doesn't really matter who you use, at some point you do need to do stuff for them for the main quest. Now, if you want to keep doing side quests, helping stuff, that really just depends on your end results with them at the end game. Alright, where are we at? Well, obviously we blast that. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Let's find out. Okay, there were spiders there. Strangely enough, they didn't attack. Oh, good. Only took two shots for that. My cat, Bitsy, as you can see back there, prowling around. So, let's be smart and go on individual. Oh, please, just be quiet. If you've played Sniper Elite, Fallout, even Elder Scrolls, this is your usual travel method, like this. Sort of sneaking around, collecting stuff, and then... It's another aggressive one! Oh, well, gee, that's where it was? What is going on with them? Hmm. I'll stay with the Mandrake, but I'm thinking about changing to, uh... Using the it's cabbage. That didn't work. That worked. Go back to be individual, but I think I'm gonna start doing Rubio this a lot more. Just so I can expect bad things to happen. Like here. Lots of stuff to pick up. No. Please don't tell me I'm supposed to go collect those guys. But that is eventually where we're going, I fear. Foibus. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipus song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Oh, so the ones that I've got in my vivarium are going to drive me mad. Okay. It is kind of annoying because I've done the... Uh, I play this game more like Fallout or Elder Scrolls than uh, anything else. So, I've ended up exploring a lot more than one would normally explore by the time you get to this level here with her. As tedious as it is, you go through all of these just because. If the moonstone is here and so are Foopers, I wonder if it's being protected. 
Oh, I'm sure it's being protected here, Poppy. The uh, Moonstone, it's, I'm wondering what it's being protected by. That's the thing that should concern you. Well, that doesn't look good. And now this. Oh, this is not going to be good at all. Okay. Because of those... These butterfly things, I have a feeling I'm going to be needing that. We need to find moths for those spinners. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Something like that. But first... so much stuff here. There we go. Lumos. Lumos. If we pull the rings and match the runes, I suspect we'll find the moths. Oh, we could do trial and error, basically. There we go. Lumos. Like I said, blind luck. Fortunately, I don't make it that difficult. And now... Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Need one there, one there. <coughs> Lumos. Lumos. Okay, next let's grab these to see if there's anything worthwhile in here.
I don't need those. Okay, that answer is no. No, falling into that doesn't look like it would be a great thing to do. Lumos. Now, let's hope I haven't screwed myself by having these collapse when I grab everything over here, but probably okay. Lumos. Like I said, solving puzzles is a big thing here. But I still feel we'll probably be killing something. You did it! I was hoping we would able to do this again. Defender! Steady on, Defender! Please Arrest them! Oh, she managed to kill it. Okay, good. Let's see if there's Rebellion. anything else in here. Yeah, don't need that. Into the cave. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You've read my mind. No, first we go collect this because we're probably not coming back from the whirlpool, okay? All right, now we head to the whirlpool. Okay, into some cove over here. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Let's first see if... Okay, plants I'm going to have to destroy. Expelliarmus. Oh. Tough plants I'm going to have to destroy. Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the moon is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Okay, we need to climb up there.
somehow. And it's not going to let you... <clears throat> How do you get up here? How do you get up here? Come on, Poppy, give me some idea. <clears throat> there we go. Had to get back away from it a little farther. We found it. It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Okay, now let's see. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. I think I'd like to look around a bit first. I suppose we could spare a moment. Very well. First we off, Revelio. The longer we stay, the more I want a fwooper. Oh. Uh. Uh. Quickly checking, because it's in these places we're going to end up finding a uh, magic item, artifact, etc., that you won't find anywhere else. Back here is what I'm kind of wondering where Revelio. does that go? Okay, let's see what's on this side. Real quick. <clears throat> oh, another one of these things. Rebellion. All right, not worth it, really. I'm not sure how I would get up there and I'm not going to bother. Let's go talk to Poppy. Oh, she doesn't follow me? That would have been really helpful if she followed. Rebellion. 
Now I'll haul butt back to her. I bet I'm gonna have to come back through here to pick up all the treasure chests because of how they're situated like that. Sorry about the detour. Let's go talk to her now. Don't fall off. It's kind of odd. You have to go around the whole thing, it looks like. Okay, let's talk to her and get going. From the outside, you'd never guess this place even existed in here. I have a feeling that was the idea. Are you finished exploring? Yep, we're done. I believe I am. Good. If we leave for the Henge now, we should make it by nightfall. We still have the poachers to contend with. So, where are we going to, Poppy? If you're going to plop us right at the hinge, that'd be helpful. Now, since this guy is a Hufflepuff and so is she, I wonder if it plays differently if you're not one of the Hufflepuffs. That's the hinge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to... We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. That skip there was because I... Think I... that's it over there. Oh, well, why are we... Oh, okay, that makes sense. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Okay, I am guessing. Okay, just to make sure. Revelio. Nothing magical here. I think we can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. Okay, she's excited and happy now. Let's see what weird thing happens. Oh. Okay, I have a bunch of these guys already. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was that great. That was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. 
Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on High Wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. Ah, I come everyone from has a dark secrets. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. Wonder if so I have to come back and kill her parents. So many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad I'll you ask told her me. other questions we get later. Back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. All right. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Hmm. Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Okay, Agreed. let's head back. I'm ready to leave Unfortunately, you then this is probably the end of this particular adventure. Because we're going to have to wait until she sends it out. I'll see if I have anything interesting else to do. Otherwise, we will stop here and I will go ahead later tonight with more Hogwarts or possibly Elder Scrolls adventures. But let us first get through the loading screen. On a positive side, I've managed to find enough of those uh, Demi Moon things that I can uh, start unlocking level 2 locks. Alright, let's see what we've got. Alright, I'm going to stop here for now because I want to do that one, but not right now. I found it's best to clear most of these out of the way. <coughs> and this is going to be probably with her another 30 minutes of wandering around and talking. And I won't subject you all to that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, other things, subscribe, and I will see you later after I've done stuff with her. And definitely start with this one for videos next, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will be back, me and the cats, soon.